In this presentation we are going to look at hierarchical clustering. The version of SPSS we are using is version 21. For best use I advise full screen mode. Now the data set we are going to use is called smallcluster.sav and you can find it at my website kobryan.dublin.wordpress.com. Uh, uh, to carry out a hierarchical clustering analysis we will uh, select analyze classify hierarchical clustering. But what I'm going to do in particular, uh, by the way, the default uh, settings I'm going to use are squared Euclidean distance and Ward's linkage. But essentially what I'm going to look at in particular in this uh, presentation is the vertical icicle plot and the dendrogram. So let's bring up SPSS. Uh, there we have it there. So this is the data set here. Uh, beefy, Benny and so on. Dogs, uh, weight but in kilos, height in kilogram or height in centimeters. So what we're going to do here is go to do classify and hierarchical clustering. So if you're unsure how to do hierarchical clustering, that's probably a good time to pause the video, have a quick uh, check on that. Okay, so uh, that's how we, we had the video set, or the uh, specifications all set up there. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to deselect these. I'm going to leave the agglomeration schedule in. And... I am going to go to plots. Now I'm going to select dendrogram and I'm going to have an icicle plot with all clusters and I'm going to do, uh, you can have a vertical one or a horizontal one. I'm going to pick a vertical one. Okay. And this rewards method, grand, square Euclidean distance. Okay. Those are the default settings I'm going to use. Okay. So we're ready to go. And there we have it there. So first off, uh, first off, we have uh, this starts off with the uh, just the number of cases, the agglomeration schedule, and then the vertical icicle plot, and then the um, then the dendrogram. So let's first off look at the vertical icicle plot now. Uh, what I just want you to sort of pick up on first actually is the ordering here. So 18, 17, 16, so it seems to be a bit of a countdown, but all of a sudden it breaks order, it goes from 14 to 15 to 13, then to 7, and 12 and 11. So uh, that uh, can actually be a bit strange. Now generally I think there's a sort of, more or less a pattern is a sort of countdown, but uh, what were, uh, uh, happens there, and you can sort of just check uh, with the... Uh, check with the on the dendrogram is that actually what's happening there is it sort of tries and keeps uh, uh, cases as close together so if there's a sort of particular cluster um, it will try and keep all of those case cases of as close together as possible in the dendrogram so the bottom cluster as it's just seen in the dendrogram are all over here the top cluster are all over here and the middle cluster are all over here so essentially what all it's doing is just trying to keep everything as close together um, and that's why the order is the way it is now but what, how do we interpret this here so we have quite a lot of vertical columns here essentially what we're doing here is it sort of uh, marks out the um, the uh, progression of the clustering so for each for each case for each of the cases for each of the eighteen dogs there is a vertical column. But what also happens here is that there is a another column in between them that gets progressively uh, that they they their one is uh, shorter than the next, and this dem um, uh, demonstrates when they have been joined. So the first one that get the first two that get joined is actually sixteen and seventeen. I'll just scroll back up to the. Uh, agglomeration schedule 16, 17, 9, and 10, 6, and 8. So the first two to get joined is 17 and 18. So that's why we have a full length uh, column in between 17, 16, and 17. So essentially, what hap this is uh, indicating here is that 16 and 17, Loco and Lemmy, are the first two dogs to get joined. Then what happens, it goes on to the next one. So this is the uh, next longest inter intermediate column. So this is the the first w the first uh, bit that, sh this is the shortest white bit, so to speak. So essentially the next two to get joined is Chi Chi and Chewy, cases 10 and 9, okay. Then, uh, Charlie and Champ, so these two. So that's essentially what is uh, indicated here. The last two joinings 
um, would be represented by uh, Laddie and Charger. So Laddie, uh, so this is the last, this is where it indicates where the last uh, joining takes place between essentially um, up here at the end. It, 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 it's the merger of the group that contains Laddie with the group that contains Charger. Down here, what, what happened previous to that, the second last stage, is the group that contains Charger and Champ, they get uh, merged to the group that contains Beefy, Bertie and so on. All those dogs there. So this is another way of looking at it here. This is a, 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 the dendrogram and this is an, uh, it, it, it depicts the clusters and how well they are joined. Um, uh, so uh, cases 2, 5, 1, 3 and 4 all the dogs down here that names again with B. You can sort of tell this is a pretty simple, a simplistic data set. Uh, these dogs here, Champ, Chewy, Charlie, Chi Chi, Chico, Chief and Charger. That's another cluster there. And what happens is that the when compared with the other dogs, the dogs that begin with L essentially, uh, that what happens is that the, the, the B group and the C group are more or less closer together than each other and the like and very distinctive from the L group. So we might have let's say these are little Yorkshire Terriers and these are Cocker Spaniels and up here we have St. Bernards or something like that. Okay, so uh let's go back to the presentation. Uh vertical icicle plots visually represent information on the agglomeration schedule. So it's just a sort of a visual complement to the agglomeration schedule and the dendrogram process depicts the process of going from individual cases to larger clusters ending in one overall tree. Okay, so uh that ends our presentation.